Hey guys, we made it. We are in Hong Kong, as you can tell by this incredible skyline behind us. I've wanted to come here since I was like this old, so I'm so happy to finally be here. This vlog's just gonna be a highlights reel of all of the amazing stuff we're gonna be doing over the next week. If you've not seen my announcement video, I'm actually going traveling for the next five months or so, so you can expect some amazing content from each of the countries I'm going to. Just wanted to drop in and say hey, and this is Hong Kong. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, I think in a few minutes we're gonna have the light show uh, along here, so I think at about 8 o'clock they do this light show every night. Apparently it's called the Symphony of Lights, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, this is like really good lighting for it. So we just finished watching the Symphony of Lights. Uh, I kind of have to be honest, I was marginally disappointed. It was uh, not quite as bright and powerful as I expected. I think I just wanted all of the buildings to light up 100% but maybe they can't do that. But I'm sure we'll see other great things in Hong Kong. So, so let's carry on with the rest of the week. Good morning everyone. Welcome to day two in Hong Kong. Today we're going to be going up to Victoria Peak. I'm very excited for this. This is literally like the flagship shot of Hong Kong. It's gonna be so good. That's where we're going. We've come up to the peak to check out the view. And uh, we were getting some shots over on the circle walk, uh, the circle trail, or something like that. The lighting was pretty amazing. Now we've come up to the Sky Terrace 428. The light's not as good. There's a bit of smog or a mist sort of coming across the city. The sun's setting behind the mountain, so it's not really that great for lighting. I imagine sunrise is probably a lot better, but still pretty magnificent. There are so many selfie sticks and iPads and people bumping into everyone here. This is a proper tourist trap. Okay, so we finished at the peak and now we're gonna go to the Airbnb where we're staying and hopefully get some food. Maybe try a few beers. There's a little craft brewery just around the corner from where we're staying. So we're gonna take the NTR from Central back to Saiying Pun. This road is so steep. <laughs> So there was a slight change of plan. Instead of going out for some craft beer, we actually came back, I fell asleep, and then we went out and got some Korean food instead. And now, we're back in our apartment, and I'm pretty tired. So we're gonna go to bed. See you in the morning. What time do we wake up this morning? Two. In the morning? <laughs> Don't catch the pigeon! It's a chicken! <laughs> good afternoon everyone. I would say good morning, but we did wake up very late. We are in Hong Kong Park today quite overcast so we're not really going to be doing too much outside I don't think but the main agenda is for tonight where we're going to go to the street markets and maybe do a bit of street photography buy some tat I don't know <laughs> Ellie's here by the way hello, hello. We just finished our dinner and after leaving the park it's gone quite dark. <laughs> and we're now gonna get the ferry at night time across to Simsha Choi. Simsha Choi.
Surf ferry definitely isn't the most efficient way of crossing the river, but it is the most scenic. Lovely. Sideways. We're back in our Airbnb and we've had a pretty long day. I don't even know what we did. We went to the street market. And then we came back here and we had some craft beer downstairs that we were supposed to have last night but I fell asleep. <laughs> Mighty tired now, but we're gonna plan the rest of the week and then go to bed. See y'all tomorrow. Bye! I'm in an emoji. This is so clean. Welcome to Moss Burger. Good afternoon and welcome to day four in Hong Kong. We've just been for a Moss Burger, went to Manmo Temple. I have to be honest, that was quite touristy and didn't really stay there very long, didn't really appeal to us to be honest. And now we're off to probably the weirdest tourist attraction I will ever go to. We're gonna look at some escalators. We're going the right way. Okay. Escalators. Odd. Just for the record, Macau is extremely photogenic. Good morning everyone. Today we're in Nyongping uh, on Lantau Island and we're here to see the Big Buddha. Batman Buddha. Unfortunately, the cable car wasn't running and I was utterly disappointed with that but it doesn't matter because we're up here now and hopefully we can get some good views. It's quite hazy today. Um, smoggy, foggy, not sure what it is. But it's uh, nice and quiet, which is a big win for a weekday, I suppose. And oh my God, there's a lot of steps. You ready for that? Yeah, I've been up it before. Okay. So the views at the top of Buddha are utterly spectacular really really cool and you can see just how far back it goes it's incredible so we've just been walking around here for the past like hour or so 
One question I do have though is, how on earth was this built? Honestly, how, how, did they, how did they decide they were going to build this on top of the mountain? So we're now walking down the steps again and we're going into the temple. Do you know what the temple's called? No. No, I don't know what the temple's called. Um, that's a proper tourist tradition, isn't it? Not knowing what it's called, but you go and have a look anyway. You'll also notice this uh, Capture Pro that I've got on my bag is managing to hold the Sony with the 70-200. to No problem at all actually doesn't feel like it's going to slip or anything. That's a pretty big weight load it's got. Did you count how many steps there were? 272. Well done. <laughs> we're now going to get a bus to Tayo. And in the car park, there are a few cows just wandering about. Whoa, hello. Just a cow walking past, you know. So, not sure which one we get. The cow or the bus? We're in Tayo. What does it smell like? Fish. Fish. Fish everywhere. Fish everywhere. It's not that bad. I don't like fish. Again, this is another picturesque place, just like Macau yesterday. I think we've got just enough light to get a few photos around here. It's good. It's getting pretty dark in Tayo, so we're gonna head on out back to central Hong Kong and go and plan what we're gonna do tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Good afternoon, jellies. We are in the Chilin Nunnery area uh, in Diamond Hill. We're gonna check out the temples and some of the gardens. It looks very peaceful around here. Should we go out that way? Yeah. Toodle on over this way. I feel like I should point out that this place is pristine. Literally everything is super clean and perfect. I'm pretty sure they cut all the grass with a ruler. As we've been walking around this garden, I keep thinking that we're in Japan. And we're really not. It's just so similar. What do you think? Temples, isn't it? All them temples. We've been walking around the Nanlian Gardens now for about an hour and 45 minutes. I think we've properly worked the scene and got loads and loads of photos and Instagrams and every grams. Maybe we found one more shot. What you got there? Ooh. You went looking at the photo. So if you're in Hong Kong, I would highly recommend coming to the Chi Lin Nunnery and the Nan Lian Gardens. It is absolutely superb and you can get plenty of photos about. It's amazing. Really, really cool. Isn't it cool? It's very peaceful and I now want to nap. Ellie wants to have a nap in the garden. I'll sleep here. Okay. <laughs> Bye room! Bye room! Bye room! Hey, good morning! Uh, we are in Lantau Island and this is Silvermine Falls uh, in the Moiwo, otherwise known as Silver, Silvermine Bay area. And today I'm with uh, a YouTube friend who I've never actually met until this morning, but we've been in contact for the past year or so. His name's Craig McCormick, and he runs the Destructive Pixels channel. <laughs> Craig McCormick from DestructivePixels.com. Hey guys. And you know Ellie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I started vlogging this, but I need to breathe. 
this is what it was like for me <laughs> when I did it. <laughs> I guess now this is going to make it in. Uh, so we've made it up to the Silver Mine Cave. And look at that view. Italy. That's what that is. <laughs> you can see the water from there, actually. Not a bad view, is it? Wouldn't have thought that was Hong Kong at all. Um, so we're now going to head into the caves. Uh, these are the Man... No. This is not the Mammo Temple. No. There's this... a sign that says there's the Mammo Temple, but that's the other side of the town. Uh, so this is the Moiwo Cave, uh, oh, Silver Mine Cave. Are... Well, Moiwo is the name of the island. Right. But um, they used to mine silver here. That's why these are... It's also known as Silver Mine Bay. This is where they used to mine the silver. That's why it's called Silver Mine Bay. I see. Colloquially. Into the silver mine we go. Still see all old, old, graffiti stuff. So is there no more silver? No more silver now. That's why it's all used to be wooded or not. It's concrete now. So after our afternoon with Craig, uh, around the Silver Mine Bay area. Um, we then just went back to his apartment, had some beers, and talked to camera stuff for a good couple of hours. We're now in Hong Kong Airport, and we're about to take our night flight to Thailand, which is the next stop on our adventure. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog from Hong Kong. There's gonna be a high quality montage style video, similar to my Paris and Tokyo videos of Hong Kong as well. And these videos are gonna be coming out on my usual schedule of Saturdays. So make sure you check out those. And if you're new to this channel, then subscribe. I'd love to see you around more. And I hope you enjoy the adventure we're about to have. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'm going to go take this flight and go and have a nap. Because I'm tired. Thank you. See you later.